Hello everybody and welcome to a comprehensive tour of the interior of this very nice looking 2020 Beneteau Antares 9. So as you can see we're standing at the stern, do apologise for the wind noise if there is any, that will stop in a minute when we hop on board. But as you can see she's looking very very nice, very very shiny, we've got uh, really really nice sleek lines, we've got a side deck to starboard, we've got a side hatch, we see all that in the moment and we've got a lovely big cockpit tent as well covering on the cockpit which is fantastic. Now as is with uh, these uh, nice modern designs you can see we've got a twin Suzuki 200 horsepower four strokes bolted onto the back. This particular boat only has about 40 hours on those, so uh, that's uh, a good indication that she's pretty good to go. And either side of those, we've got two swim platforms. So the port one is just a swim, a swim platform to sit on, dangle your legs, legs or feet in the sea. The starboard one doubles up um, as something to climb on board via the swim ladder there. And as you can see, you've also got a guardrail to hold on to there. Very, very useful. Now that leads straight through to the companion way. So if I just hop on board, a little bit uh, more out of the wind. You can see we've got a nice, easy, straight through companion way. Door closes nice and easily, like that, so where uh, we can keep the children and the pets inside, hopefully. And uh, let's just step in out of the wind. That's a little bit better, hopefully. And you'll be able to appreciate the cockpit. Now, what a fine cockpit this is. There's the companion way that we just came through, so nice and easy there. And as you can see, the first thing we meet on the left is a nice long berth. Now, this, uh, you may have seen this move slightly, that's because it's not clipped in, but this affair, the whole thing does move backwards and forwards. If we want to raise the outboard engines out of the water, we simply move this whole assembly forwards, clip it into place, and then raise the outboards. And then once the outboards are back down, we can roll it all back and uh, give ourselves that more space in the cockpit. Very, very clever and uh, something we like to see. Very nice um, upholstery on this in this cockpit and all around this boat. Curtains, cockpit tents and seats etc. all looking great and a really nice big large cockpit table there as well. This is removable so this comes away revealing a lovely great big locker under here and down here we've got uh, room to store probably about 20 children i mean uh, fenders etc etc we've got access to the batteries on the port side we've got access to port and starboard tanks and uh, lots and lots of room and access to the bilge as well so plenty of room for your suitcases for that long weekend etc and really nice and easy to get into as well as it's self-supported on the uh, gas struts uh, just looking around the cockpit then we can see we've got a cockpit shower here so that's lovely for when you're coming out of the water to get all that salt water off with fresh water we've got a rod holder here we've got a rod holder on the port side as well we've got a grab rail here beginning of the grab rail to allow us to hop through the cockpit tent along the starboard waist there another grab rail here so lots to hang on to in this cockpit either side which i really really love we have a cup holder here and we've got one on the port side too and as you can see we've got a little hop up here onto the starboard waist under here we should be able to find the gas locker yes there we go cunningly hidden and out of the main accommodation which is uh, to current standards which is lovely and then over on the port side you can see it's pretty much uh, a mirror of the starboard side except we've got a slightly different step up on the port side and we don't have that larger side deck which gives us access to the side hatch which i'll show you in a moment but a key to this cockpit, I think we've got this lovely cockpit tent, as you can see above us, nice material. It unzips in lots of cunning, various different ways to allow the wind through our hair or not the rain through our hair, depending on what you would like. And uh, it really, really looks like a very nice contemporary fabric, looks in great condition and uh, really makes this another extra room on the boat, which we really, really like. So moving forward from the cockpit, you can see we've got these lovely great big uh, French windows and they're very nice and easy to move. I prefer these types of doors or companion ways because look, there we go, one finger, because that means we can open and close it really, really easily. Once it's opened, we don't have to, the, the flap of the door doesn't open, it all slides back and it does lock into place as well if you would like. And it's all out of the way and really easy to get through there. And it just joins the inside area with the outside area to coin an old phrase brings the outdoors indoors and all that kind of stuff so really very nice and enables communications forward and aft etc etc as well as just making it seem like one nice open space so that reveals the interior and as you can see what an interior we have what can i say well it's light bright airy very modern very nice and clean and it just is a fabulous place to be in my eye i think i could spend much longer than a long weekend on here and uh, just generally enjoying high speed thrills cruising and uh, disappearing off over the horizon but let's have a look to see what she offers so we'll start on the starboard side well first of all you can see we've got curtains almost everywhere so we've got a nice long aft curtains here nice side curtains there so that gives us uh, some kind of privacy 
privacy but look at the windows before we go any further so really really nice tall windows here we've got uh, a side hatch again very nice and easy to close and the good thing about that is that if you have it open it means you can talk to people on the jetty if you're coming alongside it means you can stick your head out and talk or shout at the people on your boat that are trying to tie you up nicely or it means that if you really want to get out yourself and do something with the center cleat or other bits and pieces you can do as well it just gives you that real flexibility and then of course if it's cold and wet you can just close it and let everybody outside do things without being told what to do and more the fool then but a uh, really really lovely idea and also it does let i can feel at the moment we've got a lot of lovely ventilate ventilation coming through there carrying on around the windows you can see huge windscreen there unbroken apart from the side pillars two big windscreen wipers and a lovely big window on the left hand side here which opens so great for rule five of the uh, the the cop regulations uh, so collision at sea sorry uh, that means that we've got a uh, real ample viewing from this boat all the way around including through the stern or through the aft windows to prevent uh, those collisions at sea and keep watch etc very good indeed but uh, as i said let's have a little look little look through things in detail so we have the galley unit here which appears to be a modular affair so if you just lift this lid up that means we've got a nice sink there we've got a tap we've got a twin burner uh, burns gas there so very nice indeed on a gas strut as well and somewhere here for cups etc very nice does what it says on the tin nice and easy to clean i think and then when it's closed you've obviously got your work surface your uh, cocktail table etc etc underneath that if i just change hands with the camera we can see we've got a nice big drawer for all your bits and pieces and then under that we've got a nice big cupboard here and this this in particular has a microwave oven in set into there so that's a really really useful thing to have and everything closes and opens just so which is lovely and then finally in the galley unit we've got this uh, nice fridge here so uh, we've got to store our beers or our uh, tonic etc etc very nice indeed now carrying along along the starboard side perched on the front of the galley unit we've got this uh, helm seat and uh, it is lovely i mean it just looks really really comfortable looks like it uh, belongs in a sports car lovely motif here nice upholstery now we can sit down and steer if that's what we'd like to do or if we'd prefer to stand up and steer this bolster just lifts and there we go we can just perch our backsides here and stand up and look a little bit higher if we like that's a really neat idea to the outboard side here you can see we've got a couple of uh, we've got a, a socket and a charger we've got emergency fuel shutdowns for the engines and uh, as i mentioned we've got the, the side hatch there looking at the console well we're brimming with equipment up here should we start from the top uh, let's have a look here so we have vhf radio here lovely garmin plotter here so we can see exactly where we are we can see where our past tracks have been etc etc looks like the owners had a bit of fun here but and that's really useful we've got the the engine instrumentation here turned off at the moment we've got the electrics panel along here nice fusion stereo with twin speakers behind us cup holder here for the helm very very important everybody nice looking wheel we've got the uh, the bow thruster here so great steerage on this boat you've got lots of power at all points of the boat so engines port and starboard and the bow thrust bow thrust to the front we've also got trolling we've also got uh, bow up bow down controls and the engine electronic bits here as well as the, the fly by wire controls here or throttle so we can uh, raise and lower the engines here and uh, increase speed decrease put them into gear etc and it feels really really nice i have to say so uh, yeah well done there and then looking down if you are sitting in the seat you've got a nice little foot ledge there which might not seem much but it's one of those details that uh, after hours at sea could really change your comfort I forgot to mention the uh, the compass here, just uh, around the compass we've got a small binnacle here to put stuff on, a little bit maybe here, this is a window that allows a light down to the forward cabin and then on the left hand side here we've got uh, uh, another window which lets light down into the aft cabin and to the left hand side we've got uh, three inset cup holders. Looking above us, very nice uh, deck head, we've got uh, windows, port and starboard here and if I can do, if I can do it one handed we've got a hatch above us there we go hatch is open with the screen on very nice idea and also um if we pull that back you can see that perfectly opens up the hatch there so more light and ventilation at sea one-handed there we go so there we go air in air not in and hatch closed how clever is that so uh, very very nice indeed keep the insects out keep the wind in and the light in etc now moving around onto the port side of the saloon you can see if i just step back a little bit 
lovely big sized table here with a flap on or a reveal why we have that in a moment nice bench seat to port sorry to aft nice bench seat to uh, forward as well all very nice all raised up so as we're eating or drinking or just talking we've got these lovely views looking down at the the lower down boats etc all the way around which is absolutely fantastic we can take away the pole supporting this table here and drop this down onto the ledges here and here to give you a nice cozy double if you've got guests staying but uh, the beauty of this arrangement is if i could do it one-handed let's uh, open the table up close the support close the support take the cushions out of the way for one moment place them there and just in a one-handed motion really really lovely i like this kind of engineering there we go so the reverse facing seats now face forward so you've got somewhere to sit on those passages lovely nice padded seats plenty of room for your feet something to grab onto you here and of course a great view through the front really like it so uh, yeah very nice idea lovely engineering okay so let's take a little look uh, down below and while we pass the uh, the flooring down here you can see it's really really lovely very 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 uh, modern looking and contemporary we've got a nice companion way down here so three steps down we have a, access to to the bilge here for a quick look nice and easy to get to so we'll go down and turn to starboard first and this brings us to the heads compartment so uh, good headroom in here probably uh, it's hard to tell without being in here let me hop in so yeah probably about six feet in here and again starting at the top we can see we've got a very nice easy to wipe clean radiuses etc we have an opening window here which is great because you may well be using the shower in here and here's a shower attachment uh, as part of the sink unit here which is lovely we've got some uh, some shelves and uh, a fiddle aft there as well a fiddle shelf there as well and if we just look here we can get to the electronics of the helm which is absolutely brilliant so that's all easy to get at don't get that shelf wet though <laughs> i wouldn't um Anyway, carrying on, underneath the sink, we've got another uh, stowage here and forward in the compartment, we have a fiddle shelf. We've got a seat here, which you can use at sea or alongside if, it's, uh, if the boat's moving and you fancy a shower. And underneath we've got the, uh, the manual head there. If you're using the shower, then uh, that would hook up somewhere, which I can't, I think probably behind the door, and uh, all the shower water will disappear, hopefully down there and away never to be seen again. So nice compartment, plenty of room. We do have another window here. It's obviously got a privacy blind on it at the moment that does remove it, that does remove if you want, but at the moment it's set up for a little bit of privacy, which is great. So moving to the forward cabin, which is another piece de resistance to this boat. Very nice indeed. Lovely sized berth. If we take all the bedding off, we can actually split it like a, a set of scissors. The port one slides that way, starboard one slides that way. So you've effectively got two single berths. Looking from the starboard side or at the starboard side, you can see we've got a lovely window there. We've got a, a nice bolstered side piece here. We've got lots of uh, lockers all the way along the port and starboard side, uh, and it just feels very nice and very modern indeed. Into the head, uh, sorry, into the deck head, we've got a, an opening hatch here. So uh, that would double up as, a, as a, an escape hatch as well, but uh, also lets light in, air in and out, etc. We have a window there, which looks like it has a blind on it too. So that's great, because if it's above your head, and you wake up you want it to be nice and dark and then we've got two reading lights either side and then port is very much a mirror image of the starboard side nice shelves above another nice window and the the bolstered side tailoring there and uh, set into the port side here because we don't have the heads jutting into this compartment on this side we have a nice locker with an extinguisher inside nice hanging rail so that's where all your clothes can stay safe and sound hopefully very good so the last room or compartment on this boat to the port side you can see we have the after cabin now before we go in let's just look up again we've got a, a window coming down so that's allowing light through but that's sealed so no air we and we should have a cover for this too you can see on the outboard side here we've got another window which is covered and we've got a nice shelf unit here with one two binnacles a cupboard underneath and a fiddle shelf on top which is great now as with all aft cabins a little bit of a compromise because where this molding all happens where it's made that has to go somewhere so it does protrude inside the cabin but that's just one of those things as you walk in you've got a little uh, uh, entrance vestibule with about six feet of uh, headroom to allow you to get changed etc and then it's a duck down because we're only going to get into bed in here and i can sit on the edge of the bed here 
do what I need to do and then slide in. So uh, in here we have a nice window to port, which is great because you've got a lovely view when you're in bed. We've got curtains as well. Uh, the headroom's limited, obviously, but I think if you're sitting with your backs against this edge here, then you're probably going to be okay to sit and read. But we have got a nice wide double berth here nice and long as well as you can see we have a couple of binnac storage binnacles there and uh, to the starboard side here we've got a, a nice it's not a cupboard there's all sorts of uh, juicy gubbins in there that help the boat the boat to uh, work as she should so uh, if you're engineering uh, there are there's a chance uh, that you could be on your chest poking into there to get to the bits and pieces in there but uh, hopefully you'll leave that to the marine engineers like me but anyway that's uh, that is this boat covered in detail. Um, if you'd like any more information, just go to BoatShedBrighton.com where you'll find lots more pictures, videos and virtual reality to help you understand what this boat is all about. But uh, if you just popped along for a look, thanks for watching. It's always lovely to have people along. But again, if you'd like any more information about this particular boat, BoatShedBrighton.com is the place to be. Thanks for watching and take care.